Today I'm going to show you how to go from a 2D image like this one to a 3D animation in just a few minutes with the help of AI. Want to see how? I'll tell you all about it right now. Let's go! For this workflow, we are going to use the following tools, RenderNet for image creation, 3D AI Studio to create our 3D model, Mixamo for generating the animation, and Blender for the final assembly. We start with RenderNet, where we'll choose a model, in this case DynaVision Excel, which is my favorite for creating 3D assets. We'll use the following prompt, Kim Jong-un as a karate fighter, typos open arms, full body, symmetric frontal view, white background. Click on generate and after a few seconds choose the image you like best. If you want to know more about RenderNet and its possibilities, I invite you to check out all the videos on the channel where I show you how to get the most out of this tool. Now we move to 3D AI Studio, the link is in the description, and there we will import the image we just created. Click on Generate and wait between 30 seconds to 1 minute until our draft is generated. In a previous video, I showed you a very similar workflow using Tripo, and you can check it out and then follow the same process we'll see next. We now have our 3D model and the next step will be to remess it. This is because the model by default is made up of many unnecessary polygons, so we will reduce the mesh size, for example, to 900 in FBX format. This way our model will be much lighter. For this sample it's not so important, but if you're thinking of creating longer animations with more objects or even your own 3D video games, I recommend doing this to improve the performance. What do you think of the result? It amazes me how in just a few minutes we can get these models. You can do the same with any characters you can think of. With our 3D model ready, let's go to Mixamo, the Adobe tool that allows us to rig our 3D model so we can animate it. Upload the model, choose the view where we see the character from the front and set the points corresponding to shin, wrist, elbows, knees and groin. Click on next and wait for Maximo to generate the corresponding rigging. That is, integrate our 3D model with Skeleton so that we can create animations. After a couple of minutes, we can download our animations and finally import them into Blender. Delete the cube and import the FBX animation. Adjust the whole scene and check in motion tracking that everything is okay and set the output to FFMPEG. Finally, click on render and render animation and wait for the entire process to complete. Voila! We have now our little animated character and remember, if you like it, you can leave a like, a comment and subscribe to the channel. Bye bye guys!